year equals some new laws, one hitting smokers and some stores by surprise. The federal government now banning anyone under 21 from buying cigarettes and tobacco products. Now it also applies to e-cigarettes and vaping products with nicotine. Two Works for You's Dane Hawkins spoke with a local vape shop owner who says this quick change is going to hurt business and young customers. Now, the FDA says the reason why the legal age is being changed from 18 to 21 is hopefully to get high schoolers who are younger than that to stop getting those products from their older peers. But I spoke with the owner who owns this smoke shop here, and he says this law is only going to make vaping more dangerous for teens. Vape store owner Joe Puckett is already planning to take a financial hit this year. Now that customers under 21 won't be able to buy most things in the store. It's probably going to hurt a little bit at first. You know, as far as what I'm going to do, I'm not 100% certain yet. I'm still trying to figure that one out. He says the quick push to pass the law and put the ban in place is tough on businesses. With the way it was just implemented and thrown into law, you know, everybody's scrambling right now. And while he's thinking about sales, he says he's truly concerned about the health of his young former customers. More people will probably get sick and hurt over this. Because he says they'll still want to smoke, but will do so dangerously. You're going to have to go out and either try to make the stuff or buy it from people that are making it themselves at, in home in their, you know, in their garage. I buy it from companies that are lab tested and FDA approved. While he says he understands the FDA's goal of preventing younger people from starting the habit, he says they'll find a way around that law. They're just going to go out and find somebody else to buy it for them. Now, Joe also told me that now that they're being more strict for on businesses like his, he hopes that law enforcement is monitoring social media more closely because he says within this last two weeks, he's already seen multiple people trying to sell nicotine, tobacco and vaping products online. Live in Tulsa, Dane Hawkins, two works for you.